So we're going to talk about uh, what it says. Uh, we're going to talk about content velocity. I was talking about the experience, uh, customer experience, and how we need to you know, level up, basically, to be able to live, deliver. <clears throat> but I was talking from a very high level, you know, just giving you a strategic understanding of what's needed for you to do uh, uh, great things. And at Adobe, we're talking about, when you're talking about content, when you're producing stuff, physical artifacts, um, we're talking about making it faster and speedier. And these are the challenges that you guys probably see. I'm, I broke it down to, to four pillars. Essentially, we see uh, fragmentation in teams and business processes as one problem, uh, slowing thing down, things down. And we're seeing uh, content reuse being very hard to do. You know, when you're creating something, it's very hard to re reuse it. We see fragmentation among tools. People, you know, the way people are working are, are not really on par with uh, the rest of the organization. And then you, know, you have versioning uh, and you have file formats that's not really matching. And also, uh, we have, uh, you know, the ability, people are actually having a problem keeping up with the growing number of customer-facing channels. And we were talking about that flood of data, and that, uh, that puts a lot of stress on a content producer. You know, I need to be on mobile devices, I need to be on tablets, I need to be on televisions, I need to, I need to do stuff, and at the same time, I need to have a life, right? So from a content velocity perspective, we want to we wanna facilitate this. We want to we wanna make these two individuals, two professionals, come closer to each other. We want the creative professional to uh, be able to work tightly with a marketing or a business professional or a knowledge worker. And this ties nicely into Adobe solutions. You know, we have the, the creative cloud and we have the marketing cloud and we have the document cloud. So in, in an organization like, like yourselves, you probably have a situation like this. You have external agencies and marketing um, and you have creative cloud where your files are and you have an in-house digital asset management inside of firewall. What you want to do is come to a situation where you can have external agencies working for you. They can have an expertise in something you don't have in-house. In you want to be able to have a platform that enables that. And the uh, Adobe Experience Manager uh, uh, AM assets uh, that me and Tom is going to be demonstrating for you quickly uh, uh, will be able to show you that. And you may be in a situation where you have you know, internal creative professionals in marketing, and you want to facilitate uh, the uh, access of assets, uh, how they can collaborate, and how they can have a unified workflow. This is what we talk about when we talk about uh, having the right solutions to be able to give people great customer ex experiences. You need to be having a nice platform to work from, from within. And it looks like this from an Adobe perspective. We, this is what we inside Adobe call one Adobe story. We're really, really taking people from the way of creation, the manage part, to the manage, uh, the make part, to the manage, to the uh, uh, measuring part, right? So the whole workflow, not fire and forgetting things. So from an Adobe perspective, we drink our own champagne, as we call it. You know, we use our own solutions uh, to do great things. How many of you are familiar with CMO.com? A couple, a couple. CMO.com is Adobe's um, uh, own content uh, platform for chief marketing officers, people working in marketing, people wanting all this new information, uh, strategy. You know, VPs of marketing for loads of loads of enterprises are actually sharing on a daily basis almost, a weekly basis at least, they're putting inter interviews up there uh, for, for customers to, to get that at least. We use Adobe Experience Manager as a platform to deliver this content. And it looks like this. This is Adobe Experience Manager, one of the platforms, uh, the pillars of Marketing Cloud. It is a hub. It is a, 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 a system where you enter and you create things and you get people to do things for you and you put them together. So that's Experience Manager, right? And here is CMO.com, it looks like this. And here's all the data, all the information that I need. And uh, up there, to the left here, you see solutions. The Marketing Cloud Solutions is a huge, huge, huge platform. It does everything from you know, optimization, from giving you social abilities, ability to target things, and, and so on. So what we're doing at CMO.com, we're putting together basically a, a portal website. We have a marketer, a person, a content manager, on a weekly basis updating the, the, the website without having to learn HTML or any, any uh, weird 
programming languages, this person is a, a knowledge worker, a business professional taking care of managing this content, right? And, um, but this person needs external help. And the external help may come uh, either internal, as you saw with the uh, uh, wireframe that I show you how people are actually organizing internally. It can, come, it can come from an internal agency, but oftentimes you have trouble working with a, a Photoshop or a, a design agency externally. So this workflow I'm going to show, Tommy is going to be here having a role play with me here, where I am the marketer person working with experience manager, taking care of the content for CMO.com. And Tommy is the... Um, design guru. And so what we need to do is to create, uh, we have some interviews and we have specific areas of uh, CMO.com where we have uh, uh, um, uh, the interviews that we, we, we make. In this case, we're doing an interview with uh, the VP of marketing for Ryanair.com. And uh, we want to leverage this area here, this space in the middle to create, to put an interview in there. And before we put the interview, we need to actually do a commercial, do a campaign, a banner kind of a campaign for that. So we're going to use Adobe's Creative Cloud technologies to create content. Um, I'm going to give Tommy a brief. And we, we're going to do um, uh, then wrap up and see how we can leverage the solutions inside Adobe's uh, uh, marketing cloud to, to take this, this further. So I'm just going to switch from... Uh, from uh, um, the PowerPoint to my browser. Here is my space in terms of uh, marketing. I'm inside, as you can see here, Adobe Marketing Cloud Experience Manager assets. Here is where all the assets are. So essentially, this file here is a contract between me and Tommy. I'm saying to him, this is a brief. I, I, I'm going to give you this and the other uh, uh, in terms of money, and I want you to help me create uh, a couple of um, uh, uh, layout uh, suggestions so I can do some A-B testing on my, on my website, test on these individuals which one works the best. And I want you to, um, to take, this con take the content and I want you to put in the same asset folder that we're working on. I don't want you to send this through Dropbox or through a, a, a Google Drive or whatnot. I want, I've given you access to my platform so you are actually an extended part of my team. Okay? So, um, I'm going to just show you how quickly I can do this. Basically, um, this is the uh, brief saying what Tommy should do, and this is the Ryanair.com uh, image of Dara uh, Brady, which is the VP of marketing uh, for Ryanair.com. We're going to use his, his picture. Tommy's going to do some treatment with that. And, and I may be interested in, in, in the, uh, um, getting a help to create a mobile application as well. So I put this, a bit of a wireframe here, uh, how the Android uh, app would look like for Tommy, and I just upload it to uh, uh, my experience manager. So now, Tommy will be able to get um, uh, a notification through Creative Cloud because the cloud is linked with Marketing Cloud. So uh, we're going to switch over to Tommy now, uh, where he's going to take the, the, the brief, essentially, to create the assets that I want, a couple of versions of data, uh, Dara uh, Brady, and, um, and it's going to take it uh, uh, back to me, and I can see what I can do, uh, use it basically in the Experience Manager platform, what I can do with it. So take it away, Tommy. Thank you. So I am disturbed from doing my normal creative stuff. And um, I'm getting the call, I, um, and it's not a regular call. I could get it on my, uh, my Apple Watch, which I don't have, but I can get it on my smartphone or on my tablet. I could do all this on my smartphone. So regularly, I would uh, go to my desk, fire up InDesign or whatever creative tool, but I happen to be on the road. Remember, well, it's all connected all the time. So I'm going to show you my iPad screen, and then go to my Creative Cloud. There we go. And. Um, my, um, my customer needs, um, needs a couple of layouts and some photo editing. So I can access everything in my Creative Cloud. So right here I can see, okay, there is a notification. And there I go. I have joined the mobile app project. And there are the images that are already uploaded for me. So 
I'm going to go into this and the background is going to look, it doesn't look good. So I'm going to open this and let's switch the application. I'm going to go to Photoshop Fix. So someone might ask, why do we have two Photoshop applications on the, on the tablet? The other one is called Photoshop Fix, the other one is called Photoshop Mix. Well, there are two slightly different purposes, but I'm going to show you just one. So I'm going to go to my Creative Cloud, and I'm going to go to my mobile app project, and I'm going to open this photo. Even without looking at it, I know that's the correct photo. Did we sacrifice to the Lord of Wi-Fi this morning? We did. Okay. I can wait. There we go. <laughs> so uh, this is regular Photoshop stuff. So I need to uh, do a cutout. And I could use my finger but I'm going to use uh, the Apple Pen. Uh, sorry, not the Apple Pen, the Adobe Pen called Ink. <laughs> that was a Freudian slip. I actually like the Apple Pencil. <laughs> Can I expense it, boss? <laughs> okay, I assume there's going to be talk later. So I'm going to then Do something like this and maybe adjust the edges a bit. And so forth. Okay? You get the idea. Okay, and then I'm gonna go. I can use um use uh, full resolution photos, but uh, but for the sake of the demo. I'm going to use this. So I could get, um, could use photos that I have captured myself, but I can use stock. So Adobe's own stock photo service. And we're going to need, he's an airline CEO. So we're going to try to find a runway image. Okay, and uh, the perspective is correct on that one. Let's grab this one, and I can save a preview, have the customer approve it later, and it's all connected. So when the customer approves it, and we can buy the image, it will update in all the applications automatically. So I'm going to save it to the library we are using, and zoom it, like so, and move the layer behind Dara. Okay. I may, might need another one because we are doing uh, A-B testing later. So I'm going to go back to stock. I could use the same, but I'm going to use a different search. So it's going to be runway night. And let's go over and let's see. That would probably work. Save it. To the style guide library. And now I have a layout sketch with two optional backgrounds. Okay? Good enough. So I can move further by sending this to the library. So I'm going to send this photo to my library and then work on the layout. Okay, and that can render in the background. And I'm going to switch to Netflix. No, I'm going to continue working. And I'm going to use an application called Adobe Comp. So the, here I'm, I'm going to do a composition. So let's say I want to start with iPhone 6. There we go. And uh, compositing something is really easy. So again, with finger or the pen, I'm going to need a rectangle. Just going to draw something like that, and there's going to be a rectangle. Let's line it up. 
and I can select the color from the uh, color library. Uh, I want an image placeholder here on top. I just draw an X, and that's an image placeholder like this. And let's go and set it up in the middle like so. Uh, I'll need some text. Going to draw a rectangle with some lines, and it's a text box. Magic, huh? Adobe Magic, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, but I have, like a TV chef, I seem to have made this already. So I'm going to go backwards and swipe with two fingers. So swiping two fingers to the left is undo. Swiping two fingers to the right is a redo. So swipe, 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 swipe. So the text is gone. And then I'm going to go to my library items. So. The application has some uh, selective, pre-selected stuff, but I can go to my CMO style guide, and I have my typography ready here. Talk about the style guide briefly, Tommy. You have eight minutes still, so. Yes, the style guide is a library that's, of course, connected with everything. So in InDesign, I can see the CMO style guide library here, so it's available in InDesign. If I switch to Illustrator, Go to libraries, select the CMO style guide. The same style guide is available, the same library is available for Illustrator. And I can share this with my work group. So everyone in my work group can access it. So it's not just a regular file share, it's a library visible throughout the workflow to every selected user. It's like a transparent format within the formats. Like, uh, you, you know, PST is a format, AI is a format, and, and in, in uh, as a format. But if you're working with uh, a Creative Cloud library, you essentially have a transparent format that actually talks to all of these formats, right? So that's how you can visualize it. And it's great to project manage a project like that as the question that came from Twitter, uh, because as a project manager, you have a brand guideline that everyone adheres to. Okay, and I'm going to grab a um, photo from the... Uh from the library. Um, actually, not quite this one. Let's, I need some icons, so I'll switch, just... Uh, switch, Tommy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I'll grab the logo and all the other stuff from the library. There we go. And you can see the photos, the um, the little mnemonics, the LinkedIn share, everything visible here. So you get the idea, it's really fast to build something on the tablet or on your laptop or your workstation. Doesn't really matter because it's all connected. Okay, and I'm going to do one more thing. And uh, I want to continue this work in Photoshop. So now my Creative Cloud will send this over to my Photoshop. And uh, the next time I open my laptop and my Photoshop is online, the file will open all the Elements are intact, nothing's rasterized, so I can continue working with the same elements that I started working with on my smartphone or any smart device. Okay, and when I save this back to the project folder, it's going to be visible in, um, in the project manager's um, console. Okay, great. Is that the handover? Yes. Great. So we switch over to this then. Be because Tommy has actually created all the assets that I need for my uh, uh, CMO.com website, I want to take that uh, Brady image and just uh, place it inside here where the banner is, is swapping there because we want to advertise, um, you know, we want to do a campaign so people can actually register and, and get at this interview we, we put together with, uh, with uh, Dara. For the sake of time, uh, I know we've uh, we run over slightly, so I'm going to try to... Um, uh, use a couple of screenshots instead of uh, doing it live, so to speak. But the idea here is that 
um, I've taken the, uh, um, uh, the picture, uh, the picture, pictures, I should say, because plural, uh, Tommy has made for me. And I'm coming in here to uh, um, my experience manager, uh, Adobe uh, Marketing Cloud, and I've created a couple of, um, um, I want to do some A-B testing. How many of you guys here know about A-B testing? You know, awesome. I don't have to explain that. We waste so much time. So I'm going to do some A-B testing, and I'm using Adobe Target uh, um, Marketing Cloud Solutions. I've already prepared these at TV Chef, so I don't have to go through the mundane task. So I've created a couple of uh, experiences. I want to test, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, four versions of that specific image that Tommy created in Photoshop with taking away the background. I want to test that on 50% on of users and the other 50% with normal. And I want to take that um, uh, knowledge to do a campaign. And the campaign is to actually get people to register uh, to our mailing list, obviously, uh, to, to, to get uh, a sticky relationship with my customers. And, and um, what I'll do is, the beauty of using Adobe Target is that um, I just go through these um, uh, add it so I can sh don't have to go through the whole workflow. The beauty of doing it or, uh, using Adobe Target is that I don't have to have, um, you know, I, I don't have to be a web developer or an HTML guru or whatnot. The technology is all integrated into my CMO.com website. So if I'm just clicking here, I'm able to just in the on the CMO.com website, I'm able to just get this view here where I just click and swap the image that I want to test, and in this case. I've actually been uh, pointed towards uh, my asset, my, 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 my um, uh, collaboration platform where all the assets are. So you can see here all the f uh, versions that Tommy's actually uploaded, right? So I'm just going to choose that one, and I've added in there. But you can see there I can choose to see different experiences here. All the code is already placed in, t in, in place to me. As a business owner, as a project manager, content management person, I don't care how it's done. I just want the experience. I want to test things. So if I come to my boss and say, dude, I chose this guy here, this picture here, which the designer gave to me. I have, a, um, I have data to prove which one is the best for our campaign. And that's why we're trying to get at, OK? So, so in the CMO.com, I've actually used my, my, my uh, target um, uh, platform, uh, marketing cloud platform to do a target here and test A, B, and test it. Today, we have our um, marketing cloud guys uh, uh, over there. We have Bernie and we have Adam. So if you guys want to talk about those solutions exactly at the neat the gritty, really, you know, at the nerd level, right, Adam? You can actually go over there and uh, he's going to take you through that. I know we uh, 15 minutes now past uh, what we said we should, but um, this is where we need to wrap up. So essentially, I'm just going to show you this slide again. This slide shows you exactly what I said we, we were going to do, right? We want to get these guys to talk to each other. We want them to talk to each other and leverage their skills to be able to give the customers the great experience that we can uh, help them with the help of technology. So the creative pro in terms of Tommy and the marketing business, what I did with the role play, we actually had an integrated solution. We showed you Adobe's unique selling point to actually merge these clouds, the creative cloud, talking to marketing cloud. And um, that's the end of this demo. Thanks for listening. <laughs>